All right, so the next one is going to be prime numbers, and it's going to be important to have your multiplication table. If not one online, use the one from the earlier page multiplying. That will help you because we're going to be able to refer to this to do this. Anyway, let's try to factor the number 17. The only way we can do this is like this. So they take 17, break it down with 1 times 17. And that's the only way you can do it. If you look back at your multiplication table, you're not going to find 17 anywhere on there for a reason. We still end up with the 17. So you can see that we really didn't break down the 17 into two smaller numbers. In fact, that's impossible to do without using fractions. A number like 17 that can only be factored into 1 times itself is called a prime number. 5 is also a prime number, since 1 times 5 is the only way it can be factored using whole numbers. Can you think of some more prime numbers? Nope, 1 is not considered a prime number. 2 is the smallest prime number. Alright, try to factor each number into a product of smaller numbers. If a number is prime, draw a circle around it. So, this is just like what we did on this page. The one that said factoring, which is the back of the multiplica <clears throat> multiplication table. So we're going to be making little factor trees just like we did on that one. But this time we're going to be locating the prime numbers and distinguishing them from the composite numbers, which are going to have the factor trees. So we look at the next number, 7. 7 can't be made with the factor of two small numbers. So try to factor each number into a product of smaller numbers. If a number is prime, draw a circle around it. Seven is gonna be prime. So we draw a circle around it. And we write prime just like they did. The next one, eight is not prime. So we're gonna break it down into a factor tree. So 8 can be made with 4 times 2. And that's all I want you to do. We know that it's not prime because it can be made with 4 times 2. Let's do a couple more. 9 is also not prime. So it's going to need a factor tree. 10, it can be made with 5 times 2. 11 is going to be the next prime number. So... We should have a factor tree for 9 and for 10. 11 will be our next prime number. All right, so I want you to find the rest of the prime numbers and make factor trees. These ones, if you completed them, would be 3 times 3 and 5 times 2. All right, good luck. Make sure to ask any questions if you have any concerns or get tricked up on any of them. All right, good luck.